The deal is, you can eat this marshmallow now, or you can wait until I come back and I'll give you two marshmallows. If you decide to change your mind, that's fine, okay? I'm waiting. Okay. Who doesn't love a fluffy cloud of sugary delights? So much so that they show up in willpower experiments. When you think about our want it and want it now society, it's a wonder that self-control exists at all. But without willpower, we'd be a gluttonous lot, stuffing our mouths with marshmallows and ignoring all other responsibilities in life, with a gradual crumbling of infrastructure all around us. And it's all the marshmallows' fault, or rather our weak in the knees response to high calorie bait. Now, from an evolutionary perspective, this makes sense since sugar provides a burst of quick and easy energy in the form of glucose. And glucose would have been quite a prize when trying to survive in an environment where food was hard to come by. Of of course, the humans most susceptible to this quick sugar fix are children. According to researcher Julie Manella of the Monel Chemical Census Center, kids prefer much more intense sweetness and saltiness, more so than adults, and it doesn't decrease until late adolescence. So candy is to kids as brains are to zombies. Witness the blank stare that comes over a child's face when encountering a sugary confection, then the wide eyes and squeals of delight. And this is where our humble marshmallow comes in. In the late 1960s, psychologist Walter Mischel devised an experiment using marshmallows, cookies, and pretzel sticks to test four-year-olds' self-control. He told the kids they could eat one treat right away, or if they were willing to wait while he stepped out for a few minutes, they could have two treats when he returned. He found that those who buckled after just 30 seconds didn't have the same coping behavior as the kids who held out. These high self-controllers used something called strategic allocation of attention. In other words, they sang songs, untied and retied their shoelaces, or even covered their eyes, basically anything to divert their attention from the thing they wanted. So it's the ability to distract and redirect that helps a person resist resist that siren song of desire. And this is true even in the animal world. Psychologists Theodore Evans and Michael Barron at Georgia State University tested chimpanzee self-control with a candy dispenser, which delivered sweets every 30 seconds. But as soon as the chimp reached for the sweets, the dispenser stopped delivering them. And the primates quickly realized that the more self-control they exercised by not grasping for the candy, the more the good stuff would flow. Meanwhile, the chimps that were furnished with distractions like magazines and toys held out 50% longer than chimps without diversions. In the human world, this ability to exercise willpower is one of the most important indicators of future success. In fact, a long-term study of a thousand babies born in 1972 conducted by Terry Moffitt, a behavioral scientist at Duke University, reported that individuals with high self-control in childhood, as reported by teachers, parents, and the children themselves, grew into adults with greater physical and mental health. They also had fewer substance abuse problems and criminal convictions and better savings behavior and financial security. And those patterns held even after the researchers controlled for the children's socioeconomic status, home lives and general intelligence. So it turns out willpower is the key to us feeling that we can control our circumstances, giving us the grit we need to persevere far beyond the enticements of a mere marshmallow. So what about you? Are you a Jedi master of self-control or would you cave before a delicious plate of Twizzlers? <laughs> For me, candy corn need not apply, but what about you guys? What would you gobble up? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>